And so when you think about the concept of wellness and how it's discussed in the world today, it's important to understand that when it comes to wellness and self-care, and you said this perfectly, it doesn't look the same for everybody. And it doesn't exist in isolation, it exists in a system. The concept of us all having this well, right? Like. The well is this concept of how much energy do you have? How much can you give? How much do you have for yourself? And if you can fill it with things that fuel you, work or relaxing or time, the better, because that concept means that you're designing your life and your world around this well. And so when we talk about wellness, especially for wellness and self-care for women, we have to understand the barriers to the wellness or to self-care, and then we have to address those barriers. I can transition into something that I know I will be passionate about and that I can wake up every day knowing that I'm making a lasting impact in the lives of others. That gives me meaning and impact too. So I really feel like for my mental health, it's really being able to get up um, and know that what I'm doing is making an impact. So I think culturally, it is very, very difficult, but it just takes one person to be able to change that within a family, as scary as it is, and lead with that example. And, you know, that's going to be passed down to my kids. So, you know, celebrating, you know, the women before us, too. We're here in Women's History Month and being able to, you know, kind of connect to, you know, the people that have come before us and have paved the way um, as it relates to work workforce but being able to build a community of women i think is huge but we also have to remind those same people that while there was trauma there was also the will to live there was also strength there was also beauty there was also courage there was also all these things in great amounts which is why we're here today